Okay, people. I'm going to do this video like this just to see if it sounds right. Today's subject is the train derailment. We live in the United States of America where we brag to every other country how great our system is. We got the best roads, we got the best airplanes, the best hospitals, and the best railway. In 1945, times have changed. This world has changed. We have gone on constantly bragging about what we used to be. An image of America that America itself cannot even live up to. When the rest of the world sees us, we're a bunch of loud mouth of not just nosy shit talking people with no purpose other than to eat that other but to be in other people's business. That's all Americans do is tell other people of other cultures how to live their lives. If there's no proof of this, just look around the world and you will see hate on us. Hate for us. Hate because of us. Back in the days, we force fed them with movies of John Wayne kicking Indians up in the ass. And now, we force feed these people with superheroes flying around and tearing shit up. But before the superheroes, you know, we showed them. We showed them a bunch of war movies about how great we are in war. But you know what they see? They watch Jerry Springer and Steve Wilkos and, and, and the little plastic dude, uh, Cunningham, whatever the hell his name is. That's the image of America they got. They don't want to see the fantastic Hollywood shit, the shit they fell in love with. The shit that, that let them believe that we were number one and we're going to be number one. Because we had the best of everything. But like every great building, every great structure, you need to maintain your shit. America was the greatest. We was all that. We was everything that we said we was. But we was. The word was is the past tense. What are we now? They saw black people getting the shit stomped out of them in black and white with water hoses put on them and dogs being chasing them through the streets. They saw that on TV overseas. Now that they see, they see black guys dribbling a basketball and making millions of dollars in the assumption that every black guy who's a rapper is Snoop Dogg. That's what the world sees. And they watched Jerry Springer and Steve Wilco, the underbelly, the dirty laundry. And what do they get? They don't see John Wayne riding through whooping Indians in the ass for no reason at all no more. They don't see the slaves with underfoot no more. You know what they see? They see a whole country full of hypocrites, idiots, fat people, people that sit around masturbating in front of their computers filled with porn structured to turn them into homosexuals in the first place. That's what they say, a bunch of doped out Americans. The ones that don't get doped out are forced to fight wars that have nothing to do with the people of the country, but the will of those who think they should run the country. Other nations, rogue states, all of a sudden, we got the enemy driving through towns in our tanks. What does the world come to? I don't know. I don't know nothing. I ain't never been taught nothing. Find out the whole education they gave me was wrong. You can look it up on the internet right now. And it'll show you. 
there was black people in the United States of America before Columbus even brought his sorry ass over here to spy for Isabella. And I ain't lying. It's hard work. Everything you've been taught is a lie. For what? For what? Gain power and control over who? It's not about power and control anymore. It's all about the haves and the have-nots. As long as I can make sure you don't have nothing, I ain't got to worry about being a have-not. But what goes up comes down. What goes down comes round. As it was in the beginning, so it shall be in the end. If that's what it's supposed to be. The 6,000 years is up. Can't fool nobody else no more. The time is done. So, what does anybody do? Brace yourself. Times are gonna change. The whole outlook and aspect of whatever life is supposed to be is gonna change. Because someone's gonna step in and someone's gonna change things and everybody's gonna be the same. But is it gonna be the same old people changing things? Who's gonna change what and what's gonna be what when it's changed to whoever what? What the hell am I talking about? Society's twisted. What was wrong is now right. What is good is now bad. What am I supposed to say? You can't spank your kids anymore. They can spank you. They can hold you hostage. What is this? I don't know. It's like a bad dream. It's like somebody trying to force something down your throat and you're not eating it. It's like just having a whole 360. You got technology changing the way people look at things. People can see what's going on wrong. What people used to be able to hide, they can't hide anymore. There's cameras and cell phones, rats and snitches. It's all kind of crazy shit we go They say we're going through a part of America that Germany went through. They said this time in America is close to a time that was once in Germany. This is what people around the world look at as Nazi America. Rules and regulations on everything. What can you have? What can you not have? What will the doctors do for you? How much can you afford? Vaccines that kill people. Vaccines that maim people. Vaccines that blind people. What do you do? They test everything on Americans. They test soap on Americans. They test food on Americans. They test GMOs on Americans. What are Americans good for? They consume everything. Now they're telling us there's cancer in these phones, but the size of the phones keep getting bigger. What is the truth? There were supposed to be cancer in TVs, cancer in remote controls, cancer in mice, cancer in keyboards, cancer in airwaves, cancer in frequencies, cancer in alcohol. What is the truth? Every day there's a new truth, a new something new, something I just found out about, something that we just learned about. But there's been evidence of a whole bunch of things that they knew about. They knew about things in the caves, in the tombs that they were raiding. Did you know Egypt is part of Africa? And did you know there was no such thing as Egypt before there was Africa? What are you talking about? Who built those pyramids? Why you keep knocking lips and noses off of shit? Tell the truth and everybody shall be set free. Was it a big head scientist that created you? Or a dumb scientist that created me? What is the truth about life? Who is God? What is God? What is the manifestation of God? What is a God? Who is a God? And what is the purpose of God? What if there is no God? Would you be mad if God was black? Would you be mad if God was Chinese? Or would it piss you off the most if God was Mexican? What would you feel like if your form of God was not in your form? What would you look like if you didn't know what you looked like? 
What would you sound like if you could not hear your own voice? What is your own voice? Who are you? What is your purpose? What are you talking about? Why are you asking me questions? Think about yourself in a different perspective and learn who you are, not who you are told to be. I can't tell you no more than the truth because if I lie to you, I'll be like every other person that said they're going to educate you. What I learned from school was when I grew up, I found out that was a lie that I learned. I don't know what I just told you. If you could figure it out, I would tell you again, but I'm only going to say it one more time. That would be twice that I told you. Find out who you are. Don't believe someone who are telling you what you're supposed to be. What you're supposed to be is who you are. Find out who you are and then you will know who you're supposed to be. What is your purpose on this planet? Find out why you're on this planet and then you'll know your purpose for being on this planet. That is your purpose. Can you figure that out? What is an image? What are you built like? How can you build something? To build something, you need instructions. And if you can build it, then it is man-made. Are you a man? What are you? Understand words, for they be twisted. When people speak in fork tongue, Listen to the music.